Okay, hey, I'm going to be showing the Alt-V event suggestions. This is an extension that is going to assist you with event names and the parameters that belong to those event names. So normally when you're doing events that are either cross-resource or if you're doing events that are even in the same resource, like client to server, server to client, so on and so forth, you have a tendency to forget those event names and pretty much the parameters that come with those event names. So I offer you a solution to that, and that is in the form of this extension. So let's talk about what it does. So first things first, when you declare an event like this, you do ultimate, and then let's say it's my cool event, right? And then you're passing like a message and maybe like, a, right? So normally when you do alt on, you get the normal suggestions like this, but then now you also get the events that you've created at the bottom, right? And what's cool about this is like, okay, so you do this and then it's like, well, I see args. That's not really useful for me. Like, I don't know what this event actually had in it. So what you can do is declare above the event what those events are, what's in this, um, in this event. So for JavaScript users, you would do something like my message, my number. But for TypeScript users, what you can do is uh, message string and then value number like that. So you put it in a comment above it. And then when you do comma here, it's going to give you the auto completion for it. Now, keep in mind that the formatting on this is a little jank, <laughs> which I don't know why I haven't been able to fix it yet. But that being said, if I hit Control S, uh, it automatically fixes all that, um, all those, all those issues there. It may actually have to do with this. I'll have to investigate it. But uh, that being said, auto completion for events. I mean, come on, that's amazing. All right, so now let's talk about. Let's say I have another resource, right? I'm on a completely different resource. So this is from some other resource. So I can do Alt Emit from some other resource. And I can specify, oh, here's my message and here's my number again, right? So I can do message, string, value, number, and then I can go into the server side on the other uh, resource here. And we can do alt on, go down to the bottom from other resource, right? Comma, boom, auto completion. It's really nice to have because now I can actually figure out like my which events go where, what events are coming from what, but here's the beauty of this as well. Like we can also do this for client to server and server to client. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but if I go down to the client and I do alt emit server from client to server, right? And then I can specify, um, I don't know, like hello world. Um, there's only a little caveat in here. You have to do, you have to do player first. So all player and then you can do like message string. Um, but then if I go to server and then I do alt on client, it's going to only give me events that are from the client and boom, there I get my auto completion there as well. Okay. So what else? Like you can do to the server, or I mean, from server to client as well. So if I was to do like, um, Let's say functions player like this, and then we do like player emit my player emit event, and then we can specify like something and then a number because you know that's just the example we're using here. We do message string value number, you know, similar similar process throughout the entire thing. Go over to the client, all on server, my player emit event. Look at that. Boom. Completion. It's there. So the formatting is a little jank. That's kind of the side effect of it. It'll get fixed eventually. But um, that being said, I kind of think that kind of shows you what you can do with this. It's going to help you organize your game mode and it's going to enable those cross resource events to have better auto completion. Uh, whether you're a JavaScript user or a TypeScript user. So I really hope you guys find this super interesting and useful and uh, give it a try. You know, it might be useful for you. you maybe you'll love it. Maybe you'll hate it. But uh, it's available on the marketplace again.
all D event suggestions. If you can't find it because you have a colon in the uh, in the in the search, so just do Alt D, just all lowercase, and then event suggestions, and you'll find it. And there you go, whole new extension.